But I think her biggest mistake, actually, was a little line that she threw out there that I think slipped under most people's attention. She said that top-down solutions don't work in America. And I thought that that was fascinating because she essentially just disproved the entire premise of her whole ideology. Because the left's entire point, the left's entire solution, the left's entire prescription to solve every social problem is that we need this oligarchy of elites at the top. And they're either elected or appointed into these government positions and that they are smart enough to plan and run our lives for us. And without them, society will devolve into chaos and that they need to plan and control every little thing. And um, if top, and the thing is, the data is on our side. The, the data shows that she's right, that these top down solutions don't work. Uh, the war on drugs is a miserable failure. The war on poverty is a miserable failure. The war on terror is a miserable failure. And that's because you can't solve social problems with violence. Uh, and that's all she has to offer is more and more violence, more and more of the, uh, the endless expansion of the power of the state. And uh, so finally, the last thing that she did was plug her own book and recommend that people read it in order to get details about her policy proposals. And I, that was really irresponsible. That was the equivalent of trying to convince teenagers to smoke. And I really hope that the FDA or some other activist organization is going to go after her and make sure that she's held accountable for that.